Today, you will be learning how to install RAM into HP laptops to have an additional RAM slot underneath the keyboard. You are going to need your laptop, a Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and your new RAM stick. We will begin by ensuring that the laptop is fully powered down, free of any plugged in wires, and disconnected from its power source. With the laptop closed and lying face down, we will begin by replacing the RAM in the slot under this small panel, located in the center. You will need to use your Phillips head screwdriver. This screw is not designed to completely come out, so loosen it as much as you can and then use a flathead to pry the cover open. One of your existing RAM sticks is now exposed. The RAM stick is secured by two metal tabs, one on the top and one on the bottom. Using your flathead, gently pry the tabs away from the stick. The RAM stick should pop out, like so. Now we are ready to install our new RAM stick. Slide the new RAM stick back into the slot at about a 30 degree angle. Ensure that the gold pins are flushed after insertion and then push down. The RAM stick should click into place, so if you find yourself having to force it, readjust the stick and try again. To access the next RAM slot, we must get under the keyboard, which is partially secured by these three screws, which conveniently have a keyboard symbol next to them. These screws also do not come out completely. So unscrew them as much as you can and move on to the next. Now, flip your laptop back over and open the lid. The only thing securing the laptop's keyboard now is four tabs, which are located on the same row as the F keys. These tabs are easily unlocked by gently prying the tab down using a flathead screwdriver. Be very careful when removing the keyboard from the unit as it is connected by a very fragile cord. Now exposed is your final RAM stick which is easily replaced following the same process as earlier. In the case that your RAM stick does not pop up automatically after prying the tabs, like it did here, use a flathead to gently pry it up from under. All that's left now is reassembling the laptop. This involves sliding the keyboard back into place and then using your flathead to relock the four tabs holding the keyboard in place. In addition, we must also retighten the three screws located on the back of the laptop that were also used to secure the keyboard. You did it! Now your computer is loaded with new memory and should be running smoother than ever. The team here at SeaTech City thanks you for watching our video and we hope that you learned something new today. Be sure to stop by our website at www.ctechcity.com where you can find the lowest prices on high performance computers and accessories.